Hunyo 12, at siyam na putwalo na ideklara ang kasarinlan ng Pilipinas sa isang bayan sa Cavite na tinatawag na Kawit. Dito rin isinilang ang unang presidente ng Pilipinas na si Emilio Aguinaldo. The Aguinaldo Shrine and Museum is a national shrine in Kawit, Cavite, Philippines. The shrine is Emilio Aguinaldo's a central birthplace, the only president of the Fi First Philippine Republic and currently the first president of the Philippines. The house is packed with antique furniture and adored throughout with motifs of the Philippine flag. St. Mary Magdalene Church of Kawit Also known as Kawit Church is the parish church of the municipality of Kawit Cavite in the Philippines. The Roman Catholic Church is one of the oldest churches in the Philippines. Construction of the present church was started in 1737, the church named after Jesus' disciple Mary Magdalene, was last restored in 1990 by the citizens of Cavite. Emilio Aguinaldo, the president of the First Philippine Republic, was baptized in this church. Cavite also had a large number of skilled plantains or blacksmiths who created the Itak and Bolo that was used in a battle for freedom in the 19th century. Sadly, the once booming industry is now a dying business in Cavite. Nanay Marisa, who acquired her husband's ancestors' foundry. Aling babies kasava bibingka. This mother and daughter tandem keeps their well-loved recipe alive by cooking their famous cassava bibingka the same way it has been for years. The cassava is cooked bibingka style with charcoal and burst on the top and bottom. The part of the cake is obviously egg wash, giving it a burnt caramelized effect. Musaya ni Baldomero Aguinaldo, also known as Baldomero Shrine, is built in 1906. This iconic house was Baldomero Aguinaldo's home after he retired as a general of the Revolutionary Forces. The blue and white house is made of a stone and a Philippine hardwood, featuring late 19th century furnishings, art, The museum gives visitors a glimpse into the family life of a war hero and a gentleman farmer. If there's one hole in the wall food stop that you should try in Kawit Cavite, it has to be the hidden tapsihan. Their old-fashioned Pinoy tapa is marinated in a sweet sauce that definitely matches the Filipino taste bud. The tapsilog looks very ordinary with the usual tapa, fried egg, and sinangag. I swear, it's the best tasting tapa in town.